<laughs> well, the worst case, um, the show wouldn't happen tonight. We have in-due time coming from Jacksonville, kids like us coming from Jacksonville, so we really, we don't want the worst case scenario to happen. We need the show to go on. Our bass player, Drew, who, uh, you know, booked the venue and kind of set the show up. Well, he was supposed, yesterday, today's Saturday, yesterday was Friday. He was supposed to go by the venue and get the key so that we have access to it today. Well, he forgot. Drew, might know something about the venue, if he got a key or not. Hello? Um, did you get the key? Alright, bye. They still don't have a key for the venue. Um, they might have to wait for the security guards to get there, but they might not have a key either. So we might not have a show tonight. Be optimistic about it. A little stressed out right now, you know. Uh, about two hours behind schedule, setting up. A little hot, so I forgot to get a key yesterday for the club. Partially my fault. The lady was all supposed to call me, so I don't know. I'm trying to play it off on her, but um, yeah. So I had to wait around for this other lady to show up. You get a show in a gym. The only place we got shows. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, it's just life on the streets. We're all pretty irresponsible. It does feel a little bit different than the average show, A, because it's our hometown, and uh, we haven't played our hometown in a while, and the fact that um, the new CD is oh, out, and it's kind of just like the beginning of a new era for us. I think this is the start of all that, so <laughs> it is a little bit different than the average show. I'm actually a little bit nervous about it. I've been coming to Ocala shows for a while. I don't live in Ocala. Even local shows are usually good. Like, just kids come out, they dance, like, all the time, and, like, all young kids usually, too, which is awesome. So the scene's definitely growing up here, and it's definitely cool to see all that. Seventh Street? Yeah. Um, no, this is actually our first one, like, this in this area. His first all, one. My first one, there's, yeah. Seven Star! Ah! I'm originally from Kentucky. Okay. I'm a Hank. I don't even know one man's name here. Yeah, I'm from right here, man. The pit. Run into people and have fun. Seven Star, yeah. And a day to remember, but Seven Star, good, yeah. but I did remember it's better, so. What makes them better? Like, I just like, you know, they just have a, a real nice blend. You know, it's not just all like screamo and it's not just all like emo. You know, it's just a nice blend. And if you notice, um, everybody gets into it when they come on stage. Seven Star. The band. Well, who is that now? I don't know. Which one is that? Yeah, their new CD is really good. The Drew them? Oh, Drew them. They be here all the time. We done been here a thousand times with Drew them. I don't know how many times with Drew them, man. They're pretty cool. They really rocked the building, I put it that crazy. Nervous Breakdown and kids like us approve of Seven Star. Sell out, sign the eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> they bought me a big screen TV. It's way more people than any other show I've seen in Ocala. It's insane. Yeah, no, actually there there is a lot of people here. Yeah, like usually it's probably like half of this. This is Seven Star right here. This called Fibers. Let's see some attitude out there.
take your shirts off, represent where you come from, what you believe, your family, what's up? Let's represent. CD's been done for about a couple months. Went up to Boston, recorded with a guitar player for Converge. Like everything went well. Like our old guitar player Mike came up, helped us with it. I'm on the DVD now. Sweet. Sweet. You know, I liked a lot of Kurt's recordings before. The Converge stuff sounds awesome. I really liked the Ramallah record he did. That Scars of Tomorrow record sounded really, really big. So I definitely knew, you know, knew he knew what he was doing. What are we doing here anyway? When I was first talking to him, the first thing he said to me about, you know, what he wanted to do for the record was big raw guitars, and that was something we definitely, we definitely wanted. Hold on, just let me open this oh, no problem, no so it looks like I'm doing something important. <laughs> and you know, going into it, I knew it would come out good, but now I'm like even happier now. It just like sounds like guitars are super thick and heavy, and you know, for what he did, it's just really easy to work with, and it, the sound of it came out awesome, you know. I always just try to like, figure out what the, what the band's about and capture that as best I can and, and try to, I think to, to mimic something else would be to do them a disservice. I think they're, they're their own thing. So um, I should just try to serve what they're doing. Neither I nor Kurt wanted like the, like the triple rectifier scooped out sound where there's no mids, you just, you know, it's just like every hardcore open breakdown kind of sound, you know. It sounds to me like the, the energy of this band live. That's what I was going for. Oh, I have no idea why I just thought of this, but did you guys ever go to Jerry's department store while you were here? No. They're having a, cl they're, they're closing and they're having a big oh, sale. Really? So I was watching the next yesterday uh -huh. and this girl like, kicked oh, the, this girl next to the guy just for having a hole in his jeans. Like literally dude walks out and is like, hi, next. We're selling a good amount of shows. Like our CD release show, you know, Cal, we sold like 80, awesome. so. I mean, for one show, that's like really that's good. Awesome. That's really good for us, you know. So. Y'all got a CD? I'll buy one, yeah. Yeah, I'll buy a CD. Life in the senses if I try to pull a bush event, never see light again. Sweet. Parallel to limo tent, innocent, conspicuous just because of my melon skin. Hell, y'all is rocking. The beat 
is right. That's <laughs> Where's the other guy? <laughs> Seven stars, man. Hey, coming to you, man. Hey, pick up the f album, man. I'm telling you, get it, man. It's rocking, it's banging, get it, man. All day. Shot King, man. <laughs> Representing, man. MHP, that's what's up, man. Everybody, man, you know what's up. You know, everybody on the grind, everybody out there, man. Do y'all thing, you know. But look out for these fellas, man. They coming, man. Hey, and King Melini coming to you, too, you know. Album coming out in a couple years, man. Like a year or two, man. Holler back. Awesome, man. All right. What's your name? Chase. Chase. My name is Chase Michael Moore. That's what they call me. This is, uh, this is my room. It's where I sleep. It's where I hang out. You know, it's kind of messy. Well, as you can see, some of my favorite rappers are up there. See Murder, for instance. And uh, my dog, Soldier Slim, rest in peace. So they're 100% real G'd up and soldier down. Cost uh, half a mil. You know, bought it. Pocket change. Just bought it straight up. You can see I've got pretty much everybody. Members of the Foot Clan to Super Shredder. And some reason, Ultimate Warrior got stuck in here. Good old uh, Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> You see this right here. When I used to play football. Check. All star. Actually, you might have seen this in the movie called The Goonies. The Fratellis own this Jeep right here. It was a actually it was in black. As you see over here, there's no bullet holes in the back. Had to get it buffed out. I was good friends with them, so they just kind of gave it to me. Custom built, especially for the movie. 20 inch. No, no, they tan, they tans, but I keep them clean. Not really? I don't have a lot of money. I'm pretty broke, and I just it just kind of felt like it just snuck up on me. So, I don't know. whatever. It kind of seems like tour just kind of crept up on us, you know, because we just got back and had some other stuff. I had to go to St. Louis and stuff, and I've, I've been home about two weeks now, and just didn't feel like packing or anything. It looks like this might be one of the, the longer tours that we've done, so... It looks like we'll be out from the 17th to June 20th. So a little bit over a month. Then um, we're doing Cornerstone. Uh, it starts July 1st. That should be a pretty good tour. I think it's going to be a good one too, like... I don't know. I hope it's going to be awesome. Did you bring my CD, Sean? Yeah, that's that's them right there, right? Oh yeah, that, right in front of my face, right? Duh, daddy, you. Right Freaking face. Boy. Just kidding. Is this Drew's house? It looks different. Yeah, please. Drew Russ is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been saying all along. <laughs> He's okay. I, I hope you have a lot of health coverage and. <laughs> All right, gotta hit the road. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. It's gonna be so weird, like the camera all the time. The show should be cool. Our friends in Sense of Flutter here. They're amazing dudes. Donnie Brook is here from uh, way far away. So you guys are on a tour right now, and we just happen to like. Oh uh, no! Actually, paths? we start the tour tomorrow. Oh okay. Thanks. Second CD release show tonight here in Jacksonville. This should be a great show. Oh yeah, um, Bloody Sundays here. Somehow, it's a miracle. <laughs> At least one of us has their stuff together. It'll Don't never relax. be us. It'll never ever be us. What's going on with you guys now? Are things all right? Well, I don't know. They're always, they're always back and forth. We were talking about that on the way down here, late as usual. Because we left this morning and we've been driving for ten and a half hours all the way from Nine o'clock in the morning. We should, not be we should have left at 6.30. I don't driving. know, I've been all day without a license, like 25 miles over the speed limit, <laughs> waiting to go to jail. <laughs> he actually just lost it, like, uh, two days after that NIV show in Maryland. Like, he had a reckless driving ticket. He goes to court and the dude's like, yep, give me that. <laughs> 30 days in jail suspended, the whole nine, dude, he is screwed. No, he didn't go to jail, but if he gets messed up, he's going. Well, and they drove yesterday or something, you know, it's just my turn. It's my turn. It was his turn. Guys, if you don't have a license, oh, yeah. you gotta drive in this van. No, no, no. First? I drove to Fredericksburg, and then I drove home. 
You drove two hours. You yeah. drove the same two hours. Sure, fine. I'll drive tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just asking you. you. Or is it your turn? No, it's oh, yours. Great. How is it mine? Is are we playing poker at your house tonight? Sean? No, they're leaving. They're driving. If we weren't going to freaking we Dallas. So where are we staying tonight? <laughs> We're hitting up I-10 and going westward, westward and going to Dallas. You know, I mean, there's some cool people in Dallas, there's some weird people in Dallas. Hey, what's up, man? Yo! But regardless, we're going there, and, um, and we have to make it in time. If we don't, um, you wasted 17 hours. You know what I'm saying? We're flying on the road. You guys be safe tonight, dude. I'm riding a bill for Oregon. We just got you know, in the Alabama, driving through the canyon, the Florida on I 10, the worst drive ever. So I just woke up, so I think we're gonna be in Louisiana soon. Uh, we just got into Dallas, um, in Texas, uh, pretty much it. Alright, we left at 1, so I guess it's like, uh, so it was like 15 hours now? MapQuest said 17, so I guess it's, I mean, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Hopefully it goes, hopefully it goes good. Yeah, we know. It last came here. It'll be, it'll be a couple hours. Hours flooded. We gotta, uh, we gotta push out the water. We gotta get the water out. We're like, can we just come? It's flooded. <laughs> what trick? Like, all right. Across the street from the across the street bar. So, who do you, who do you want me to talk to? Like old ladies, hot chicks. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, I'm uh, I'm Drew from Seven Star. Hey, uh, Seven Star is giving me a documentary right now. I gotta go. All right. Uh, call me back in like five minutes. All right. Hey, call me back in like five minutes. I love you. Bye. What's up, dude? Hey, um, we're just doing a video DVD here, and uh, oh, dude, we were just wondering how does it feel to be across the street from the across the street bar tonight? Feels like I'm across the street, dude. It right. does. If I was there, it'd probably be a lot cooler. But I showed up too late, so. Right. Yeah. But that place was kick ass, man, when I showed up. But I'm from San Antonio, actually. Right. I'm not even from here, dude. But cool. I heard them jamming, and that it was kick ass, and now they're cool. gone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks. You know what I can score some kill, man? Some kill? Drove? I'm not, I'm not down with the street lingo. Uh, man. Some motivation. If you don't know the street logo, man, I don't, I don't want to ask. I guess I'm not equipped. You're not a cop, are you? No, no. <laughs> dude, come on, dude. You got to be kidding me, man. I've been dying. It's cool, man. Drew was a kid who was booking shows in Ocala. He was a kid who, who, like Johnny, was a good friend of everyone in the band. He just worked really hard. He would make flyers for shows. Shameless self-promotion. He would promote shows. Um, he was really involved in, in the scene. He wasn't really a bass player at the time. I couldn't really tell if I was in tune or not. 
Um, but he decided he wanted to be in the band bad enough, bad enough that he would learn how to play bass. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's punk rock. So we did. He worked really hard at it. And one thing that's really cool about Drew's role in the band is he really started getting heavily involved in all the business aspects of it as far as uh, um, booking shows. This is what happens when you don't pay the full guarantee. And he kind of acts as a manager, which is really cool because we don't have to pay or have someone outside of the band, someone out of touch, um, fulfilling the role of a manager. It's cool to have someone in the band that's completely in touch with what's going on in the scene, completely in touch with what we want as a band, uh, doing managerial kind of things. It's really great to be on the road and get a break from all these coal mines. Um, back home, it's really rough, you know. I mean, it's coal mining pretty much every day. I mean, I get about two hours of sleep. About an hour of that is devoted towards bathing the coal off, you know. So yeah, you know, you gotta learn to coexist with the moles, gophers, any burrowing animal, really. Um, but you know, I think that's what gave us that really edge, you know, being on the road. I mean, when you're in a coal mine since you're, what, four years old, you know, with other guys all the time, 22 hours a day, being in a van with four other guys isn't so bad, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. The show tonight should be good. Uh, Texas isn't all that good, though, as far as the state. Uh, The weirdest thing I've ever seen, seriously. Like, they said the show was going to be inside, but go inside there and just check it out. Uh, it used to be called Sand Trap. They had, like you said, volleyball, put put golf. That was maybe it went out mid 90s. When they started doing punk and hardcore shows, like, I want to say, 96, 97. Till now, I think it's gone through, like, four owners. The best big corporate show, I would say, that I've seen was, uh, I think it was Megadeth and Misfits. There was, like, thousands of people. And uh, Johnny Lamb? No, well, in general. Oh, this place here? Oh, sh**. Uh... There's been a few of them. We just had Agnostic Front come through last month. That was a pretty good show. Vinny Stigma supports Seven Star. Say it loud, Vinny. I'm trying to say it proud, baby. It was pretty crazy, you know, if you would have asked me, you know, when I was 13, if I would have ever gone on tour with AF, I would have, I don't know, I don't know what I would have done. We uh, actually, we got added to uh, about eight, about eight shows with AF. We found out that uh, Martyr AD or whatever broke up and that we had a chance to get on the um, Allshaw Parish, uh, Death Before Dishonor, Agnostic Front Tour. Three days after we got home from a Bloody Sunday tour, and it was just like, hey, do you want to go on tour with AF, you know, for the Florida dates and, and uh, regional support? So we were more than stoked, you know. It kind of sucked about the whole thing was that uh, Johnny's grandmother passed away right when it was going on. So it was a, a little while where we didn't know what we were gonna do. It was up to us, it was our choice. And um, I found out that my grandma was gonna be dying soon. And so um, I, I was actually in, in the hospice with uh, my father and you know, we were talking and um, I was just like, you know, like, are, are you gonna be disappointed in me? Like, if my grandmother dies and I'm, you know, if I don't go to a funeral, and um, he said, he said, you know, Grandma would want you, you know, 
to go on tour and stuff and like it's cool because like all the guys supported me like um you know they they didn't care what the decision was but it all worked out we were able to go on the tour and it turned out that i was able to go to the funeral and it was awesome and like it totally shows that like like god god works in like mysterious ways and i know that said like a lot but it ended up being some awesome shows you know i mean not only were the shows awesome but all the guys in the band were just like incredible dudes it was it was pretty it was awesome i felt like a little kid like going to disneyland or something <laughs> Seven star. Good guys. Man, I'm kind of disappointed, you know. I was talking it up all night, you know, and kids left, you know. They, but I, I definitely had like really high expectations for tonight. But I'm sure there'll be worse nights than tonight. So, you know, I had fun, and I gotta make the best of every situation. I guess it's weird how like there could be a show like this, and it just like. I don't know, it just like gets me down, but like tonight, like I still had like a lot of fun for some reason, I don't know why, like, it's weird how it works like that, like, I guess because like the kids that were into it seemed like they were really into it, so I kind of figured, hey, you know, they, you know, they paid their money, so they deserve, you know, the best show, so. Cut finder. Hey Johnny, yeah, sorry, I should be called cut finder, not hand sanitizer. Do you guys want to get any food anywhere, or just freaking go? We just passed the Taco Bell. Be on the lookout. There's a Whataburger. Yeah. Whataburger's open. You guys want to do that? Okay, Sean, you want to... Okay, okay you're, you're going to take 37 to 77 in the bed. Whataburger, yes or no, yes or no? I guess that's a no. After this, like, main strip of lights, there's not anything for a long time. Denny's, we don't want that. It's the Texas. second Whataburger. Oh, Texas. I think Whataburger's calling us. Wait, there's a second McDonald's, maybe there's a second Taco Bell. Is that a Taco Bell or? I don't know, it's either a Taco Bell or a Sitco. Or a Sitco. Is that a third Whataburger? Or is that a Wiener Schnitzel? It yeah, looks what like else? another Whataburger, what? to be honest. Now it's a Wiener Schnitzel. Get the popcorn and you get a filet fish without the fish. Without the fish? Wow. You don't want the fish? Just the sandwich on the meal. Oh, the meal. I don't want a What? 
sorry I'm leaving. What, she's doing the tiger sauce and all that stuff on it? Yeah, just like the cheese. So you want the bread and cheese and tiger sauce? Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. Okay, a lot of people go to you like that quick. I'm a vegetarian and stuff, so about two years, a little over two years, so pretty easy, I guess. You know, just gotta eat right, and that way you won't get sick and everything. I I really do enjoy cooking. I get that from my dad because he's a real good cook and everything. So Johnny and Travia, I sing in Seven Star. Kind of cutting my hair right now. I can't catch a break, man. People are always making fun of the way I dress, but I got jean shorts on. Um, I heard, I think Drew, you know, read some comment or something on the internet, but I was wearing a jersey in Orlando and someone said that was been out since like 95 or something. I don't know. And then someone said something about jean shorts too and it's kind of funny because I got jean shorts on now, so. I don't know, I guess like everybody thinks I'm like kind of like abs, like, you know, the, the tough guy attitude or whatever, like, that's cool or whatever. If everybody wants to think that, that's cool. I'm really not all that tough. You know, one time, you know, I picked flowers for this girl. I don't want to mention her name. <laughs> I, I brought flowers to her house that I picked. Went in her room and I'm like, hey, I got these flowers that I just picked for you because I'm a nice guy and I love you so much and stuff like that. I gave her the flowers and she was like, oh, those are nice flowers. And she's like, I think we should stop liking each other. And I was like, what? And it's kind of like in the cartoons, you know, where the flowers like die like that. Like, I thought that was going to happen. So that was pretty hard. Johnny's a monster. Oh my he's God. a big dude. Uh, me and Johnny, we lift weights together. He rules. Yes. Oh, he's dead sexy. But he's a pansy compared to me. <laughs> he was hot. <laughs> Takes creatine. He's not really that buff at all. He's just water weight. A cute list. <laughs> he had a cute list. He had good speeches too. See that? That's real. That's real. He got nothing. All right, so basically, with a, with a physical specimen like this guy right here, we are going to be working the shoulders today, as uh, my main man over here can show him. Getting bigger every day. Bring it to me, Sean. Sh show us what we learned. All right. We're working on shoulders today, right? So, you know, they're, they're teaching me technique. Bent 90 degrees, yeah. Straight up. I just bought a little protein to help along with the workout program. Nice hearty dose. We got some pumping uh, entertainment going on in Cave 9, period. You walk past here, you just got to stop and listen, for sure. Uh, Seven Stars probably uh, done a socket. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're here tonight, man. Everybody come inside. We're Seven Stars. We're Florida. Let's enjoy it.
Ball City boy. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It goes like this. I wasn't born in the state of Georgia. I wasn't born in Tennessee. I was born in the northern city. All over Milwaukee. I'm not in competition with Kenny Rogers and I'm not Charlie Pride. Just that southern hospitality that's in me. And it's thin and skin tight. Just another small city boy with a country mind. And that's how it goes, you know. Palm Chevrolet, Ocala, Florida. We drove all night from Birmingham. It's like 8 in the morning. We're taking the van back again because it continues to break and it's about to get worked on and we're gonna go chill at my house probably for a few hours. We have lots of bands through here. We operate the Douglas Hardcore B&B. Then you come back and get the van and leave and continue tour. So it's just like a little stop. I don't know, a lot of cookie eating, you know. Mm. It said you were a maniac mm. with the drums. Her. He is a maniac. We might have to edit some of that. We handed him his first drumsticks when he was about nine or ten, and that was it. He, the rest is history. It's got to warm up for a second. It's a good learning bike. You know, it's not a crotch rocket. It's kind of in between a cruiser and a crotch rocket. How long have you been riding? Six months. I don't ride very much just because, you know, my mom doesn't really like it that much. So, you know, when I'm out of the house on my own, I'll probably start riding a lot more. I'm just kind of taking it easy right now, you know. Got the rest of my life to ride, you know. Don't want to die right now. Sean, he's just the best. Great kid. Holy crap! That thing's huge. How about him eat healthy? Yeah. Sean tried to eat healthier today, like in a rapid Arby's. Looks like a couple balls. Some of the old members of Seven Star said I ate ice cream really funny. I think they were just making it up. It feels like like the they're telling me the the rough idle like that is a um oxygen sensor. Hmm, so maybe the other one went out there. I don't know. I ain't seen nothing like that in a long time. That's a new model, old model. I don't want to be on that. Yeah, what's up, Clearwater? One time the beach and yeah, everything. Yeah, you, you can get in the car, whatever. Oh, thank you. Scooter these up real quick, guys. I don't have much space. That's I do? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. So, Pete, this. Like some like, 16 some girl, girl sent us a message on MySpace. Can you suffocate me? <laughs> <laughs> she's like 26 with kids, married. <laughs> I know. I was like, she's, ah! like, we'll be, she's like, I'll be at your Corona show. <laughs> We're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then, Hey, I, hey, what do you what do you think about me freestyle walking this? I live for this, you know. This ain't no trend. Something I see on TV, you know. I mean, I didn't see some kid wearing a t-shirt say I freestyle walk, and I said, oh no, that's the way. I mean, I grew up with that. I mean, I identified with the culture. Yeah, I'm going forward and running my thing. Think I could do it? Yeah. Freestyle walking? He thinks I could. People want to label me what they want to label me, but you know, in the end, ain't gonna last. I'm gonna freestyle. I'm gonna I'm gonna run up. Then run down and jump. Is that cool? Run up this one, transfer that. Okay. 
So you want me to do any tricks on the transfer? Whatever. Whatever? Oh, I, might, I might pull out something. So run up here. Want me to start over there? All right. Here we go. Extreme! You know, it's been a hard day, you know? Not many people do that many jumps at one time. They can't handle the heat, you know? But now I go to that extra level in my walking. You go into a mall, you don't see people doing the stuff I do, you know? They're just walking around like they're, they're sick or something. You can't handle it, you know what I mean? They don't want to get a little dirty. They don't want to sweat a little, a little blood, a little tears, you know, who knows? You know. I'm sorry? The order of bands? Uh, yeah. First band is From the Grave. Uh -huh. Second band is Stand Behind. Third is sub, uh, Where It Ends. Fourth, Suffocate Faster. Fifth, Since the Flood. Last, Seventh Star. Oh, okay. That's that. Cool. All right. They're just curious. Do you guys still love Jesus? Do what? Do you guys still love Jesus? Yeah, man. Very cool. cool. You can't get what you did out of your head. I have to take a number two. There's only this much toilet paper. So. I have to play MacGyver, I guess, you know, I have to do the little uh, folding method and work with what I got. Uh -oh. We're in Augusta, Georgia right now, love the little town. Um, yeah, we're uh, about to go see some sights. Always a lot of interesting people out and about. No, seven star DVD, man, you, you got any shout outs they're playing tonight? <laughs> Do you realize that Thomas, do you realize man, do you realize Hunter S. Thompson just died? You didn't. I don't know, I didn't want to be like, back of his brains out. Hunter S. Thompson. They're loathing in Las Vegas, oh, nobody knows him. Oh, Did he die in vain? It's a good movie, it's a good movie. Right. Those are good guys, man. Sucker! That's right. Sucker! Thank you. Alright? Appreciate it. Keep it real. I did like a spin kick. It came down on it wrong. I didn't even know I broke it yet. And then I did a. It was like supposed to be like this. And then it was like that. And then it still came back and danced it up to seven star. Seventh Star. Well, it's very good that you should uh, choose the name Seventh Star because it has a very mystical meaning to it. To which, let that be the mystery to your listeners. But welcome to Augusta, and as you travel through Augusta and, and the history of Augusta, you'll be blessed by the time that you leave here and people his, listen to what you've got, and hope, hopefully God will lead you on to a good success throughout your career. With that, Augusta. <laughs>
see you. Good luck. Bye. Write a red hat song. <laughs> Yo, Seven Star tore it up in Augusta 2005. Alright, so this, uh, this venue is pretty strict on the mosh pit. And so far they've drawn up a couple rules called mosh pit etiquette. Alright, first rule no blindsiding. Can't have that. Alright, rule number two keep the pit in the center. You don't want the pit off the side and the back, whatever. Four, no weapons. They got self explanatory. And number five, no kicks above the waist. Keep it below the waist. Below. All right? And with these five rules, if you violate them, you just may have a police report on your hands. So, I mean, keep it safe out there. Hello? Hey, Sean, what's up? How'd you get this number? Oh, the yellow pages. I just, there's one over up the block. Yeah? Um, where'd you hide that bomb? I, I, I can't really hear you too good. Can you hear me? This phone's weird. Yeah, that bomb. Oh, man. I don't want to tell you, like, see? This phone's like being modern. It's really weird. Um, it says someone might be listening, so I can't tell you right now, but come inside. I'll, I'll tell you about it. We can't use our, uh, I have a Native American code talker here. Will that work? No. Okay. All right. I'll just talk to you inside then. All right, man. Bye. All right. See you. We're here at Cornerstone. At our uh, it's the last day, we played last night. It's pretty dope. It's hot, miserable. A lot of dust here. You get, get a lot of black boogers at Cornerstone. You see a lot of weird people. A lot of crazy people here. A lot of weirdos. Most of the people are Christian. I like these people playing the drum. They're not even really drum. They're just garbage cans and spoon. It's the whole thing. The whole thing is kind of weird, but uh. Once you look back, you realize that you had a real good time because you got to see friends. Little guy's tambourine. I don't know what it's supposed to look like uh, leopard skin, but it looks like a pepperoni pizza. I hate hippies. I hate the people that march around with those uh, stupid drums making a racket. I hate the people that are dancing to it. I think they look like a bunch of retards, and I don't want to be involved. Because it's the last day of the fest, and I don't want to take it home, I'll give you 150 bucks off it. So. I'll think about it, man. Like, you guys, you guys take credit card? But hey, to each his own, right? Whatever floats your boat. Let's go by the lake, kick it at the lake, you know? What's Flip in the water, and then my britches are floating next to me. <laughs> kind of cold, man. It's only cold for like five minutes. Your body gets used to it. It's nice. I'm gonna just submerge myself and just take it like a man. about this lake is you don't have to worry about alligators you know back home it's kind of scary because you don't know if an alligator is going to rip your leg off or something you know before we go on can i please wear that st louis cardinals hat that's where my grandmother's from born and raised she just passed away so i want to wear this hat to represent dago hill in st louis and all my family who passed away 
All right, let me tighten it up a little bit. This song's called Resistance to Resistance. Don't let the enemy get you down. Christ died for sinners. <laughs> dudes ever like we toured with them and like I said we come to the conclusion that all we want to tour with the seven star like they're just some of the greatest dudes to hang out with man like seriously and they got their head and their hearts in the right place and they're just definitely definitely the kind of guys that I want to be around watch out <laughs> see and I'm just sitting here telling them how good of a guy get out of here I'm telling them how good of a guy you are man and you're, you're throwing stuff at me. my relation to seven star mortal enemy <laughs> I, I, Seven Star is nuts, man. You know what, man? Those guys, they look like, you know, they're sweet little kids. They're nice. You know, they're from the South. They have all that stuff, man. But you know what? Those are some bad dudes, man. Everyone go get Seven Star CDs. Go get their You know what I'm saying? Put the camera on her right here. You know what I'm saying? She just got off work. Yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, you gonna be in my uh, music video, girl? Uncut? I'm here because <laughs> I am gonna sabotage Seven Star set. Johnny? That he says he doesn't eat meat. I think the guy's eating sausages at home, man, like when no one's looking. I gotta talk about seven, uh, seven seconds. Seven <laughs> seconds has got beef with them, and so does uh, seven, seven up seven dust. and seven dust. <coughs> but there's the one band that I like Seven Star. Seven Star are all very good people, they're all very physically fit. Drew, that guy's a bad dude. He's he's running everything, man. I don't know those guys. I love those guys. I think they're they're amazing people. They're a great band, and uh, I miss them very much. And I cherish every moment I can have with them. How much I was chips? actually blowing Please. the kiss to the young man. <laughs> Fifty cents. You want to chase? He seems real quiet, but. It's always the quiet ones, man. Always the quiet ones. These guys are super nice and um, just couldn't ask for a more laid back, pleasant recording experience. You know, just diligent, well rehearsed, and 
ready to get their stuff done. Sean, I don't know, have you ever picked that guy's brain, man? The guy is nuts. I went on tour and I was a fan of the band before and I'm a bigger fan now. And they're good people and an awesome band. This is Jamel, West Palm Beach, originally from Chicago. Check out Seven Star. Check him out. See my car right there? You check out Seven Star, you can get something like that. What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. What, what can I tell you? Are you jokes? Yeah, see? Ah, joke. I got I, I'm not. I'm not drunk enough. Oh, come I'm on. not drunk enough for this interview. Get the camera in my face. Get this man a knife. Throw that camera out the window to start. He see how he see how he is. He tries to get you in uncomfortable situations. No, I'm not. Yes. I, I, let me explain. I don't really want to talk about it because it doesn't matter. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> how many minutes of this kind of footage do you want to get? I mean, you just want me to hold this until it melts. And he's very deceitful. He likes to make you think the camera's off. Oh, but it's on. But I'm the most excited. Are you really not filming me? 